Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. All right, listen up. All right, attention here. Sergeant speaking. Tonight starts the heavy night. Nice heavy night. All right, it starts heavy tonight, and it will not stop until Tuesday. Long hours. Patients are thin right now. We've been on our feet already for a week, okay? So be kind to the drunk tourist, okay? <laughs> Give them their one warning for the flash of the boobs, second time they ride. Anything from the waist down, rides immediately. Both sexes. The flash of the boobs also includes the male transvestites. They cannot be on the street showing their enlarged breast. They have to keep them covered as well. Let's have fun, but at the same time, let's be professional. Y'all be careful out there. It's after midnight. Instead of the crowd getting thinner, it's getting heavier. You just want the small pockets. All right, it looks like this gentleman that's uh, with the uh, pirate's hat is about to expose his genitals. As soon as he does that, he's going to take the ride. Here we go. The rule is anything below the waist takes a ride. Boy, can we call it? Come here. Move. Put your hands on the wall. Let go, let go. Put your hands on the wall. Put your hands on the wall. <laughs> Do not move. We'll be talk to you in a minute. Let's go. Down here, you show your genitals, you go to jail like everybody else. Can I, can I pull my pants up real quick? Hey, a lot of girls do this. I mean, this is Mardi Gras. I mean, this is what people do down here, right? No. Did you do that back home? No, but in Missouri, you drop your pants in Missouri. But this is Mardi Gras. People are telling me to do it. Okay, let me tell you, my man. All right, down here we want people to have a good time. Okay, but showing your genitals is not one of them. All right, when you get out of this is minor offense. Okay, you be out by morning. Okay, we can't tolerate that. All right. I understand. It's totally understandable. Okay, thank you. y'all fall under the same guidelines as females, and you can't expose your breasts and all that. They have to stay covered while you're on the sidewalk or on the streets, okay? okay. So if you would, from now on, make sure you're covered when you're out here, okay? Sure, well. Rock my toes, free of this, no cover charge. That's right, folks, you got to see it to believe it. Right here. Whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, 
I got him. I got him. Stop, resist. to another girl and then the other girl said, well, I'm gonna go buy us a drink. Never showed back up with a drink. And then uh, he approached these three ladies right here, claiming, hey, where's my $100 bill? Start cursing them out, pushing on them and grabbing them. So Wes escorted them out the door. As he was escorting uh, the gentleman out, the subject out the door, he turned around and kicked Wes in the face. Stole my money. Stole my money. Somewhere rolling around money. the ground. Jeez. I gave her $100. My hand got bill. scraped off the concrete. I gave her $100 bill to pay for some beers, and she took it all. This guy got, got in a fight inside the bar. They took him outside. He continually started fighting outside. He was bleeding like this and all that before he got out here. So I'm going to take him to charity hospital, get him cleaned up, make sure there's nothing wrong with him other than a couple of abrasions and stuff. From there, he'll go to jail. Get EMS over here. Have EMS check him out. Dave. I want to get my money back. That's Dave. what I want. I so you know why you go? $100 from me. Dave, you know why you going to jail? Because she stole $100 from me, and you guys are, uh... You kick one of my officers in the face. You let me You explain. kick me in the leg. I didn't want to Okay. I didn't so want to you're going to jail money. after you get out of Charity Hospital. Uh, you got all the witnesses' names and everything out of the Yeah, sir. All right, what about our guys? We're going to get them up to the hospital, let them get checked out. We have EMS and Ralph to check out both him right. and the officers. Get him, get him checked out. Oh, yeah. He's being charged with numerous out. things. Battery on police officers, batteries on the bar itself, um, criminal damage to property, the uniform, hats, as well as the apparel that we're wearing. Oh, welcome to Mardi Gras. Oh, I'm new out here, so this is kind of a wild experience for me. I always wanted to be a police officer, and, and this is a lot more than I ever imagined it would be. You know, I kind of got lucky getting, getting placed down here in the 8th District. No place else in the world where you can find this. We just got some information about a male and a female possibly having sexual intercourse on the street. We're going to go see what this is all about. 131, make it a 21 arm. Get up. Get up. You know this guy? Who is it? Bill. Bill? Where you know Bill from? Right there. Right where? at us like we're stupid. Stand up. No, get up. Stand up. up. Why are your pants unbuttoned? Because they're already unbuttoned. Oh, they got to get unbuttoned somehow. How would they get unbuttoned? They're already unbuttoned. Uh, you got an ID on you? Yeah. Let's go. Everybody's going to jail. Let's go. Move. This guy was attempting to have sex with him with some female on the street. Dude, what are you thinking? You're not thinking. You're trying to have sex on my street? You got anything on you? No. You got ID? What happened to the girl? She's coming. Colin's getting her. Lewd conduct. Where's your ID? Don't move. You got a call back or anything? Where you from, dude? Chicago. Where? Chicago, Georgia. They let you have 
sex in the street in Chicago? No. Yeah. And why were you trying to have sex in the street? I'm not having sex in the street. Like, that's my girlfriend. We're just having fun. Oh, like, we don't have sex on the street in New Orleans. Hey, will you, will you tell them we're not having sex on the street? Who are you doing? Where you put her pants down. People get this delusion that they can come down here and do whatever they want and get away with it, and it, it's just not happening. As you can see, right here. Stand up and let me... Who is he? That's the guy that was laying on top of you. Colin. She wants to know who this is. You don't know who this guy is? A friend of mine works in Canada. We got that understood. But you told me earlier that you know him. She's sorry. Remember, hotels. Yes. OK? If not a hotel, a motel. Yes. Hey, can we, hey. OK, you guys are going to go to uh, Central Lockup, and you're going to be booked for uh, lewd conduct and public intoxication. Obviously, you're both a little bit too drunk to be out here. And probably the alcohol instigated the other situation with the lewd conduct. Hopefully next time you remember. Two is too many. Remember that. Two beers too many. Two beers? We just got some information that a doorman has been assaulted. This young lady just spit on my doorman. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. What do you think you Now, relax. No, you're not. You just need to relax. Now, don't move, OK? Just relax. Keep your hands behind your back. Put both hands behind your back. Hit. Rager, dude. Those ladies and gentlemen are my Can't twins. This is Angie. Everybody say hi, Angie. This is young girl. Your friend on the door, door man. Come here. Angie, get behind her. Angie, it's your job to show. There you go. Why'd you do that? He was being really mean. So you spit on a man? I've never done it before in my life. And you, so you spit on a person? I'm not even drinking. He's being really rude. Why are your lips all red around the room? So that's that's not from drinking red drinks? I had a one hurricane. So you're saying now you had one drink? One drink. And so you spit in a man's face for being rude. You couldn't say Where? you're being rude and walk away? No. Wouldn't that be more? I did tell him that, and he was being really mean. So now you're going to go to jail for it. I'm going to jail. You're going to jail. It's assault. I mean, that's a that's battery. It's simple battery. Are you kidding me? Nope. You're going to jail. I'm going to jail. Yes. You have ID in here? I'm just saying. I spit, and I get arrested? Are you kidding? It's battery. If that man would have spit on you, he would have went to jail. I would have licked it. You got it off? I got to go here with Rob call. Go ahead. That's enough. Um, I'm still not finished arresting these two people for uh, having sex on the sidewalk. And I get flagged down about someone spitting in someone else's face. Yeah, Mardi Gras here now. But the crowd's unbelievable. Just seems like overnight they just poured in. But uh, we're out here in plain clothes. In my group, we got about 40 or 50 of us walking around all over the quarters, just spread out, looking to see what we can get, whether it be guns, fights, pickpockets, con games, whatever we walk up on. And uh, usually we're pretty effective with it, too. So hopefully we'll have a good year this year and all go home safe at the end. Engage it like y'all gonna do it, then you, you, you got him for like a little bit. That's what I'm Get him, get him! 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 Get him, get him!
on the ground. Oh, yeah. Put the ball down your back. Lay up. Lay up. big boy. Lay up. Turn over, big boy. Turn over. Lay up. Lay up, big boy. Turn over. Turn over. Put your other arm out. Look at that. You know the deal. Put your wrists together. Roll over. Roll over. Get your knees in. Get that money. Get the cap. Get the cap. Let me up, man. Please don't hit. Put your knee in. Put your knee in. Now roll. Roll. Come on, bro. You obviously know it's illegal. You ran from us. I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. I saw oh, I man. I was getting robbed. No, nah, don't play that with I me. I saw the guy. I saw the don't saw play the guy that. Don't, the guy. Yes, don't play that yeah. with me. Uh, you got anything else on? You do realize that down here in New Orleans, you can't run those three-car Monty games, right? It's my first time. It's your first time? You never, you never been down here before? Never dealt with that before? Down here in New Orleans, all right? That's considered a scam, OK? And on the streets of New Orleans, that is illegal. It's a gambling scam, OK? You can't be doing that down here. Tonight, you're going to take a little charge. You get out in the morning, go on home. If you ever come back, now you know. Okay. Learning experience, okay. all right? Your boy who's looking out, a lookout for you, I mean, obviously, you knew something was up. You got a lookout. He ain't going to take that ride with you. Accessory, all right? So just chill out. We we'll do what we got to do. So how'd you know we were the police, man? Around, you want to talk to me? You want to tell me how you know I was a police? You're going to jail, this makes me better. I've seen the chain. You see the chain with this one? All right, that's cool. All right, at least we know what you're looking for. Get out, Skeeter. Is that your sign? Let him know. Was that your sign to let him know that we were walking in on him? You can be honest, man. All right. Well, down here. But they don't deal with it. They don't. They don't want to play with it. They don't want to have it. That's something that we're gonna, that we're looking. We're out here looking for. There's a lot more of us. So all your friends that are out here doing it too, they're gonna get caught eventually. Lookouts or no lookouts. Take his little charge. Going home. More well and come back. No hard feelings. Just don't be pulling the scams. All right. Oh, when you walked up, you saw the cap game going. Oh yeah, I mean he was in the process of of doing the whole shuffle. He had he had a player up there. I mean they were they were rolling, he, doing the shuffle. Uh, at which time you know, like I said, we, they made us. Uh, lookout yelled it. Officer Johns let us know that we were made. And, so we made the apprehension, and good job on you catching him right, as right. he I took was, off. I was in the back. I heard Lee Tran scream, like, "Get him! Get him! Get him!" So. That's good, good job. We'll uh, wrap this up, get this guy processed, and we'll get back out of it. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Police officer, you back off. You back off too, bub. We're not talking to you. Come here, put your hands up on the wall. Both of them up on the wall. I don't come to your town and pee on your streets, do I? Nope. Hold that with that hand. Why you arresting him? Oh, don't worry about him. Oh, no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry about him. You worry about yourself right now. There's bars, there's porta pots, there's everything else out here tonight. There's no reason for you to stand over here and pee on our streets. Hey, hey. Why are you arrest him? No, 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 no. Don't be a I know my rights, right? He don't worry about your rights. I know, I know what I did. He didn't do anything, hey, right? What's your rights? Huh? I, 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 I on, the, on the street. I know. Well, he he's also get him out yeah. with me. Why? And would not move out of the way when we asked him to move. But, okay, he's you, drunk. You, you That's why. Thank you. That's what arresting him for. What? You didn't tell me you don't arrest him for what? For what? No, no. Oh, really? Oh, hey. well, how many people are Intoxicated. Hey, hey, no, hey, hey. Carlos, be quiet, please. Chill out. No, no, I know my rights. That's why I know. And your rights aren't being violated. Hey, 
This is your hotel key. You she with you? Hotel? She yeah. staying with you? Right. Yeah. We're gonna cut her loose and give her this is your hotel. No, key. yeah, you just cut, cut the, both of them loose. Bruh, then, who, I can't who, cut him you loose. Calm down. Why, why him? Because he continues to try to block me from getting to you. That's interfering with a police investigation. I don't care if he's drunk or not, okay? If he's too drunk to realize that this badge and that I'm identifying myself as a police officer, then he's too intoxicated to be out here. That's plain and simple, okay? That's that's a nut and bolts of the game. All right, you know. You got another way. No, you're cool, you're cool. You're, 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 they, got they, got not, they got nothing on you. Urinating in public, public drunkenness. No, 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 no. Wait, His friends up. going as we try to move in. If we try to move in to uh, make the apprehension on him, his friend refused to move out of our way, so we do our job. He's going to go for public intoxication, probably interfering with a police investigation. Normally, out here, you know, we look for more of the serious offenses, guns, dope, things of that nature. But if we see something obvious like that, we got to take action. he get turned over to the paddy wagon, and from there, he'll be taken to Central Lockout where he'll be processed. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, we'll still send a code three.